Hello Blender folks, welcome and welcome back. I'm Xenomes and we are going to address uh, what should be this time finally the complex joint of the pelvis region. So we're gonna rig it finally. Um, we were dealing lately with a lot of things in the body rig and even clot were in the middle of the way and now we are doing uh, fixing those things in parallel but in principle now we yeah we can hide the clot why right? the belt is not part of the clot so I think it's a collision uh, should be here perhaps um, unlink and yes uh, how do we make a link I think it's belt here with control link okay it's linked to collisions but then the anointing all right yeah so the anointing is that no here we go okay then the belt probably this is not a symbol of linking right then how do I know something is linked? Yeah, anyways, but uh, I've learned that uh, apparently if the... Some objects they don't hide uh, because they are... They, their link is wrong. Some, something bad set up there we have to unlink and remake the link. So, so for example here. Yeah, if I can... I can hide this with this. It wasn't happening because the way this object was uh, linked to the armature, it was it has a duplicate here, right? Should be still mount interior. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, probably linked in a strange way. So I, I sort of have to and make the link and relink something like that. Now it works as it should. So we're gonna start um, with selecting the bones that we need right we will probably need an animation here but we're gonna we need to re, uh, retake the armature because our plan is to have different uh, a different setup for these helper bones right so currently we just have two bendy bone splines and this is actually not that good for what I intended to, so uh, I'm having also a lot of problem with visualization uh, after I've made this new setup. So um, I really would like to have so uh, a different. Yeah, we deleted these things here. So um, all right. So. Uh, Feel free to get any soundtrack you want. We're gonna play something like that. And why does it immediately this strange behavior? Anyways, yeah, get whatever music you like if you uh, are watching uh, because copyright stuff, right? So here, um, the idea is to make these profiles uh, bendy bone splines. They are sort of profile for all around the thigh, exactly on this pubis and gluteus region which is complicated. Okay, that's fine, but the problem is that in posing, if I have to adapt, yes, we can have some cool, but it's not, it's not very precise in the deforms because they, it's a loop and there's just two, they, they don't give much freedom to express all the shapes in the, let's say, yeah, it's not very precise. So I was aware of this when I made this. So uh, we're gonna attempt now something better. I believe it will be much better. So for this, we are going to make a, yeah, we're gonna just joint those things, but it's not that they cannot loop, they can. It might be a good idea actually, but we have a better idea now. We're gonna start by creating uh, one for the crotch and actually we have already a crotch bone and it is uh, should be it 
it's a deformed bone should be a deformed bone for the spine which I do not see right now it's spine exactly so it's here it has a bone constraint that we can hide for now because uh, it contains yeah uh, it's not parented and maybe it is not a a very good idea uh, well I usually don't like this uh, the, some features of the child of bone constraint or something related I prefer to see when all the bones have some sort of parenting offset but it's not necessary they are yeah but child of bone constraint is like it's complicated to use uh, even I was trying to do some tricks with it I've got in trouble with uh, because of the proportional posing thing and when it relates to the root bone then it starts to break down uh, starts to break apart I wouldn't find a solution with uh, for proportional posing with uh, child of bone constraints with variation of influence you know you move one bone and all the other mo bones move together but in different paces this will be like proportional editing but for pose so you have to construct this kind of rigs I know how to do it now with parent offset and and uh, transformation transform uh, copy transforms bone constraints on different different influence values so these um, this is something good for a tutorial effect also something I should do soon at some point all right so I'm gonna turn this bone which is currently a deformed bone into a bendy bone so we're gonna uh, since it's a, it contains uh, stuff for the yeah I, I have a shortcut for showing the bone axis or don't I have this anymore uh, it's not working yeah uh, unfortunately Um, that's bad uh, well my other shortcuts are working so, something about some reset I don't know uh, all right so I wanted this no uh, assign control one for the names then for the axis will be control two and I saved preferences so I don't know oh, okay then shapes assign control 3 colors assign control 4 and in front why not control 5 no control 5 and then that we can as I did the before control shift 2 so it's similar to I don't probably not gonna use this but never knows uh, so it's similar to the control 2 of the axis re related to the axis and this we don't yeah no you can't even do something perhaps a driver not not my interest right now so here um, what we can do is okay the axis of this bone is there so we're gonna change its orientation first of all uh, okay so in this condition we are going to so this will be the bendy bone for the crotch so what I'm gonna do is that I'm making a middle central profile bendy bone for the crotch and maybe just one will be enough maybe maybe we, it depends how it will relate to the rest of the rig which won't have profile so at least not for now so uh, we it will have some influence on the other on the 
So it's not just a line of deform, so actually it will have wave paint, so it will have more influence elsewhere, so this uh, should be okay if it... Uh, yeah, so it's not just a line. So now we can probably... Um, yeah, um, let's just add a bone here and then we align this with this. We are going to do this sort of a smaller bone, something like that, provide the axes are visible, that's good enough. Yeah, I, so here we can already, let's give it some place like here. The curve is, as the bendy bone curves, it starts to become difficult for its deform, that's why yeah, this is actually not good, it might snap to the mesh and here we can probably do something like here, could be good enough, then we snap here and now we need to give this bone some sort of yeah, uh, for this scratch region maybe 10 subdivisions, 12, why not, so we pick this actually let's try to give some name for this right so this is not this tip yeah bibon handle right uh, even though hand handle it's not very yeah and tip is like it's not tweak so Bibon handle is like, uh, but it's confusing with with Bibon. So handle is actually cool, I think. It's clear, it's different, and so it would be handle of a bib bendy bone. So we just need to get uh, how to say uh, yeah uh, start right. So this is. But for what, right? For the uh, crotch, right? So, crotch, it's central, so it doesn't need to do anything. Start, uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, start... Yeah, uh, one and zero be bad, like not good. So usually start and end. So start. Try and start and end. Yeah. Okay, let's do. Size STR try to this side strong strain. Okay, sorry. Uh, start. Let's let's do this STT, STT start and crotch. Uh, that's it, no left and right. So I make up my mind about this and end. Okay, this one, this is clear. So there and here, we are change this. Oh yes, it got all those thing about the torso, right? So depth two torso, three co crotch, yeah, crotch. So. Um, it's a bendy bone, does it need anything? Alright, yeah, this will be not exactly uh, how I was expecting, but at least... And there are some handles that are not start, not end, so it's like not very... Maybe we can do just... Yeah, I, I have a better idea. Like, this could be the 001, right? 
and this will be like the 002 it's like a sequence right and if they loop or not it doesn't really matter and there could be left and right yes I think so this should be accurate and then the problem is that this should match with the 001 so I probably want this so I know it is for this one um, then all the rest is death torso we are now simplification the the other ones the control bone rig don't have this stuff so if we were to simplify it would be a code like yeah it could have like 3c crotch yeah death 2c crotch we could say this is part of the leg rig but actually this because it's centralized and we can actually consider it as part of the the spine at least for now it makes more sense because it has very central stuff here we could already consider this to be like uh oh i see something well th those will never appear in the yeah as vertex group so it doesn't really matter maybe useful for future bone collections so yeah so 2c is and 2c that's what we got for now <laughs> so folks um enough of this organization now we i think we've got a better try to simplify all this and so we're gonna target here the start and this is the end we gonna pick some stuff here and usually this is uh, this is um, I use tangent and tangent and that's it then it's a deformed bone while these two shouldn't be deformed bones there we go the hand the axes are visible so that's good enough let's save uh, edit preference uh, save preferences all right then Usually we pick this, we can do something like that. The alignment, I mean the shape, isn't really that good. We don't bother too much now on snapping exactly on the mesh. The mesh itself is not very precise, but yeah, it's good that we take some precision at least. We can hide this stuff for now just move these bones and yeah this is not easy now with this yeah it's uh, nearly accurate and the best way to move this is actually with this medium point otherwise they usually get displaced I'm making sure I'm only moving this thing along the so the spline here has some possibility but then you see it's not there's not there's not much profile interest here it's more about the area on the surrounding so I expect this to help a little in the lateral stretch and squash of this mesh which currently is deformed very very badly actually but we I intend I hope with this new wave painting here this will be better so we see that the it's not very good yet um, yeah also this could probably move up a little uh, still not good yeah we can see the x-ray on pose mode is a little better but of course we must be respectful to the to the rest position the binding rest pose for the binding pose state which is this for the character for the form rig purpose okay so you have our spline here and this bone already has got wave painting for the for the um yeah no i just got an interesting idea we should why don't we have vertex group selection here all right um 
I know I have this for pelvis, so this is a selection, but it's not really a selection. Yeah, it's, it doesn't work for masking. So what we want is just to get this back, have some technique here for uh, so torso is hide actually hide something hide torso pelvis pelvis no middle no this is old we're not gonna use this so just pelvis no pelvis no middle is because if the bendy bones oh maybe we'll use it maybe we'll use it yeah because we'll have bendy bones also splines also on the sides they cannot reach the middle this could cause some issues in wave in the deforms so uh, stretch and squash in the wrong in opposite direction is horrible uh, inconvenient thing of bendy bone spline so here what we do we need to yeah for actually for the spine let's just get this and then here we also want to do this no it's more complicated than that yeah unfortunately we did it wrong so um, let's see we need to we hide one by one then so we need this and this all right so this is what we retain for from from the spine I hope this will be enough we need to get uh, this into the selection sets so we're gonna bring this like here I was already working on that but with the legs so this time we're going to yeah uh, now we're gonna include more bones here so because with this new rig we don't need to we'll do the buttocks at the same time as the pubis so it will be like uh, more integrated and much more direct I think we'll be using a more advanced method therefore and we also want this I also have less a sign okay let's not forget then let's get uh, some bones here uh, just this and yeah we already have so okay we select this hide everything there we go now we are ready to work with that uh, I see that this bone is was part of the selection although it's not exactly yeah it's not exactly Oh yeah, that that's the all right. This is uh, we could have this and this actually. So maybe this is useful. So this and this and no, okay. Uh, why do we have foot stuff? This is completely useless here. So we need to be looking at that. This is not relevant. okay just this is relevant oh yeah uh, I, I have made some chance I need to still to investigate some stuff there um, okay uh, so basically for the legs I remember this is where is that yeah let's also do this so in principle for some reason this was not causing dependency cycle which is completely crazy so let's see if this pattern remains the same if I align this here it will be completely crazy if it does still yeah so apparently not but then since we have this new way of checking 
Where? Come on. Where it is? Warning. Edge appears twice. Correcting. Okay, so I just connected something and don't align. Make yes, saved. Don't seem to be causing anything, but never know. Maybe I should just to be sure. Let's reopen Blender. Let's reopen the console toggle and no it's uh, seamless ah, <laughs> when I do this for the arm it doesn't work so I have I don't know what what is going on for on for this um, I mean really intrigued by that so if this bone which would be equivalent uh, of if I burn this to the mechanism bone here, it will uh, create. Ah. Maybe I know why. This bone is wrongly parented to, to the mechanism bone. Yeah, it couldn't be so. Master shoulder. Alright, and this one is parted to deform arm, upper arm, which makes no sense. Mm -hmm. So it was a no a, a strange setup. I don't know uh, why I had this thing like that. Now they match, and now this shouldn't create the. Yeah, of course, here we want to align perhaps like that, yeah, with the... <laughs> um, maybe I have something wrong here, uh, I've made some... No, it's a dump it track, no. Is there a rest position, of course, uh, this bone's rest position must be, I don't know, here. Yeah, so it's not complete, but uh, still causing trouble. Um, what's that? Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I didn't parent. All right. Now it's struggling a little, but because of the... Could be the... No, the dumped track shouldn't be the case, but... It's slightly deforming the... Yeah, this is going a bit crazy. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, then it creates some stuff there, uh, what we can retain from that. There's stretch too, right? So stretch two is indeed can, uh, is causing this, stretch to bone constraint, so it's stretching to this, and this is stretching to master lower arm, this is this one, so this has the controllers for limiting the stretch. Although there will be other ways to do that, only this is a bit awkward. Uh, let's check for the, yeah, let's save a new version here. Because we are starting to make iterations here. Sorry about the interruption, interruption folks, on the, this is quite, we are getting, we picked a, a problem. So here, the dump it track, master shoulder, master shoulder, and here, dump it track. Mm, now this is for the inver uh, leverage of the foot, this is different. This, so we just have to mechanism tighten outside and inside, okay. So, 
and this craziness don't cause any dependency cycle so this is the crazy craziest part so it means just change the target here shouldn't create so it was wrong parenting folks so here we got here and here we got here uh, these values should be the same and yeah it's still causing some awkwardness in the in the way it uh, yeah we because we can separate yeah we can tilt it so something about the oh maybe it's the all right let's try something here folks rotate x rotate x rotate z 90 on location Does this the axis make sense? Now I'm still having this uh, breaking the stuff, but rotation does nothing. Then the track is just like. to find out why this thing relates differently than otherwise this doesn't deform it's just really when we get this bone to, to move so but this is not the case here this is much safer to work with it's because the it's because the the shoulder uh, now I mean the arm uh, is twisted right it's not the same thing the the leg uh, bends forwards the knee bends forwards so there's some different uh, and the arm well the top of the arm is here the top of the form arm is here but the bending is to the side is backward so it's like uh, a bit of strange yeah there they are twisting here so this probably makes this harder it's first time I had this particular problem no oh, I see I see this is not following Right, it's like the what happens in this case. We see that the the shin follows the deformed bone of the shin follows. How is it possible? Copy location. Hmm. Ah, this is new stuff. All right. So, <laughs> uh, provide this doesn't break the rig. This bone is parted to the mechanism. So yes, yes, I think this will work. But the copy location must be before and at the tail. So now there we go. <laughs> Alright folks, uh, what about the dependency cycles? Come on. Yeah, they arrived. And it's all in the upper arm. Okay. So, alright, so we did something here. Parent, okay, so. Yeah, so nothing for the leg, but. And it. Yeah, this is all uh, as I was doing, right? The real stuff. Well, this uh, has been interesting. Uh, we. Nothing for the leg, we just need to continue 
investigating this, but you see it's animatable, it's not like those crazy... It's not those kind of... it solves itself eventually. Let's go back folks to the main thing. And to the main topic, this was funny. Uh, we are back with our friends dependency cycles. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there's some strange thing that arrived there, but this is not like uh, disrupting the... It, it doesn't make the animation, the, yeah, the rig fail, it's just uh, not clean. So, let's see in this case. So, um, going back here, we need to... Where's the bendy bone? It's as part of the spine, right? Exactly. So we need to pick now the this, right? And we probably would like to make an animation, but not yet, not yet. We do leave this for when we need it. So we need to wave paint this. And probably okay, this is our hiding our masking thing right the deforms real on the on that pose are really bad but this is because we still need to solve many of the wave painting that we have here since we are working we cannot mask we need to change bone then mask so this bone now has good wave painting that can for the crotch that we can probably share uh, to other areas it will literally describe that profile curve uh, although we cannot exaggerate in this uh, wave paint here I guess so we can give these sort of waves here I'm really not sure this could be dangerous sharing too much waves with the Pubis with the with uh, yeah with the other bendy bones so maybe I'm not I'm not be doing this too much yeah uh, it will be it will really try to remain on that area but uh, yeah and then there is all this part that can stay in black yes uh, that's fine that's fine we. And then we need just try to blur this more. We'll see, we'll see. For now, we're trying to just limit the crotch. All right, so this is the new, uh, and it got, yeah, we need the stretch to bone constraint. And then you'll see what this does, stretch to. And it already starts in a ideal condition. So now what it does is that we can control the crotch profile or if that... Oh, uh, forgot, sorry, forgot the parenting. And this actually can probably be parented to the... Yeah, to the... what would be the base of... This control spine is actually the, the it's actually the yeah so you can control this uh, the crotch with this is not necessarily the best I'm not sure here um, but well it's not it doesn't seem to be Yeah, we won't be able to see much thing here, but let's see. Yeah, it's rotating other bones crazily, so maybe this is too much. We need to... These rotations are rolling there are crazy. It's not it's meant to happen. I just want to see the... Yeah, so this parenting, we need to do something better about it. Not the crush. The crush, I think, is fine. 
and so we can on occasions there should be some automation here but for now we established some profile for curve for the crotch region so we changed this has this armature maybe we can maintain but this is for the bendy bone so it's like not uh, we already know I think how to make this so we don't uh, we could transfer this uh, I don't know how it would affect yeah we're gonna delete because uh, this is a new setup right and I think there are other ways to do that also I'm concerned that this armature bone constraint like um, yeah so here I know this wave painting of the of the spine might be at this point a bit strange yeah those deforms there are happening because the rest position is this and those bones that uh, come here they are having too much influence in this area so and they are not receiving any sort of automation so this is why um, So if you had the automations already, we would have instantaneously solved most of this. Of course, we want better. Uh, yeah, we want better prof bendy bone uh, profile bendy bone splines here. So you see the power of this, right? Of course, you see, uh, just having this is not enough. So two splines there is not enough for what I want, I mean, I want more precision. So we are not gonna delete them, but we're gonna create extra one. Uh, let's go back to the to our condition here, select all, go on edit mode, and okay. Then uh, I need to, to remember what is that I wanted for. Okay, so let's see. I could have one lateral one like this for the side bending, uh, also for the crush, but this will mean probably a subdivision here. I'm not, no, no, not here in the middle because it will create the situation where I need the protection of the middle. So. Certainly one for the pubis, one for the buttocks. All right, all right, all right. So let's detach maybe. The problem is that I don't know which area is more important to detach. I think I got the idea maybe. Um, all right so if you create this if we intend to create this one here however the problem is all right let's bring it outside yeah okay I, I got an idea so we bring this here we want actually to create a new bendy bone spline based on these ones. This will be more experimental because I'm curious about what it can do. We're gonna bring this here. This profile interests me a lot. I think it could be useful. So we're gonna bring here. Let's reset this. Let's see transforms. Um, I want this and this pinned and actually the transform at the top so here we want I want yeah 
Yes. Uh, that, that's his the roll, positive roll, X, Z axis pointing outward, something like that. This is good enough. Then, um, the same spline here, it cannot be facing this orientation, so you need a new one. So I'm gonna just get a duplicate here. And we're going, yeah, this can be global at this point. We bring it here, we can give it some, yeah, actually where it loops, it's starting from this. Okay, it's looping like that, all right, so it's here. This is the joint that I want, so we connect this here. We can actually, yeah, we can, probably parent this to this keep offset and then make sure yeah this parenting is correct no problem and this we uh, I don't know parent to, to the tor not to the torso to the the control spine then we need another bendy bone here we are going to get it parent here uh, no here here keep offset that I need to change this target So here we want, yeah, mid. so this will be, these names need to be changed later. So bring this, yeah, exactly here and that there. We want, yeah, this roll is correct, so this we, this bendy bone aligns with this, that's fine. We're gonna create a stretch to bone constraint. No, this got here, we want this, let's go back here. Then we find the bone constraint, change target, reset. Uh, this should be done actually on a, okay, I know rest position it will zero out because oh yeah this is a problem right unfortunately on rest position we can do that so pose position all right then all these transforms are not allowing us to get the proper stuff here for that target yeah so let's do manually uh, for now all right and of course uh, we want to make another spline here for this profile so we need to so they will get more quality on these ones we need to yeah we're gonna Pick this, separate like that. This can go somewhere like here, that's fine. If I'm not wrong, these curves are, these splines are, are affected with some transforms that we can get rid of. Yes, we're gonna simplify this. Usually, this is better for the bendy bones. Okay, all that is reset. Fine. Twelve. This could be all eight. Uh, 
and we need a new one so gotta pick this one and another duplicate here and here and then okay let's remake these uh, names okay it's already on both sides so we'll start who starts the beginning doesn't really matter but since we are starting from back to yeah maybe we should follow some logic here so let's yeah let's make a crazy inversion here this will be give some work for us but all right <laughs> that all disrupted uh, so let's do the following here uh, first let me unparent everything here using the mouse will be better there are too many bones showing here so let's just hide everything that is not immediately what we want here All right, so let's uh, pick all three bendy bones and take off all targets. Is that possible? Yeah, this is an automation that works. So this will be like, uh, how do you say that part? I don't know, a uh, side. So all of these are gonna be called Uh, so control F2 bones find replace control to handle first of all they're gonna be five yeah instead of no let's keep pelvis but then instead of handle will we're gonna give like handle 5 uh, a which is like the top of the legs and so pelvis and all the numbers yeah whatever they call later right so and then let's try to take off so strip characters like strip characters like uh, no 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 it's not like that uh, yeah punctuation digits whatever you can take at end and yeah this will be bad yeah it doesn't work well uh, so we're gonna now this find replace let's take b bone handle and to nothing then b bone start to nothing if that exists I don't know and be born to nothing and strip zero zero one if we can and strip point if we want if we can okay now Okay, so this can start here actually. We could do the inverse for this too, right? Start up might be better. All right, then here we also need to change this. Okay, uh, 
transforms we start by rolling here that's right so this will be like the beginner so this will be pelvis uh, left zero zero one ah yeah This will be pelvis zero zero two. This will be pelvis zero zero three. Pelvis zero zero four. Pelvis zero zero four, and that's it. All after they loop, and that's it. Then this is pelvis. Uh, okay, this one is uh, now deaf. Yeah, no belly bone to. So left this, yes. This and this done. Now we should be, of course, the other side got messed up probably. So we are going to just try to Hide everything there. Just delete those orphan stuff. I'm gonna go back here and make a selection set here again. Here two. Ah, uh, something went wrong. Of course, we need to include this stuff here hope it's everything and then we can yeah I can symmetrize this stuff now this we include also but we need to change all these targets so Benny Bones, yes, let's bring these windows don't cease to non collaborate with me. It's windows. Good night, hello Alotsky. I just saw the uh, message so um, how are you doing so we are back here in some we are making the most sophisticated uh, pelvis rig in blender in YouTube on YouTube there's nothing better than what I'm doing uh, for <laughs> no uh, maybe probably there is but for not for free <laughs> This is probably the the old one of the best solutions out there that could exist. Uh, although it's slightly a proof of concept, I've already seen on the simplest version that it's totally brutal, as G Jack would say. This is totally brutal and what he means by that is that it's awesome um, this solution is based on the idea of the profile curves yeah I, I think you've heard already from Pixar presentation uh, I'm very impressed that no, actually, I'm not very impressed. Right? People that know this stuff, they want to make tutorials for whatever reason. And but now this thing cannot hide anymore from the people. It's all game over. It's game over now. Uh, my question now uh, is: Yeah, I have many scientific questions about this conceptual question, but my question now is uh, okay I can do this with spline skinning with bendy bone splines 
but can I do this with um, regular deformed bones? Yes, uh, if I'm not wrong, I believe now I've just, I was thinking last night, I, I think I understood some what uh, Cloud Rig feature set for Rigify Adon does for the Sintel meta rig of the face. Sintel is the name of a female character, I think he was rigging, uh, Demeter. Zadik. Uh, by the way, we hear music again. Did you get a permit? Permit denied. <laughs> no, I didn't. Sorry. Uh, thank you to remember. Uh, actually, do you know this? Permit denied. Yeah, uh, watch that. <laughs> Not Kung Fury the movie, although it's a short feature film, it's the <laughs> the the joke there in the beginning. No, I didn't have the permit for that, so it was a mistake. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, observing. So here we got to get this thing done okay first the parenting is uh, more fundamental so this will be parent to this uh, let's also take it out of the way so you stop getting confused about this uh, this will be parented to this and this will be parented to this and that's it for the parenting except that we can also parent this to this uh, yeah the control spine then uh, I'm not sure maybe all this could be parented to to this one why not yeah yeah it might be dangerous and uh, this could be dangerous this w which are closer to the crotch should perhaps be parented to the perhaps I move some of these bones yeah, maybe you could do something like that. This will be parented to this because it's closer. It's a handle maybe. And this will be parented to this because it's closer. And while this one would be parented to this because it's closer, of course. And this will be parented to this because same thing. And this will be parented to uh, the... Yeah, that's it. So now we need to set the targets. So start handle, it's the only one. Uh, so here we can take this as the start and the end of this one. This we can take as the start of I think I make I, I did a mistake. Okay, let's. This is for this one. Okay, this this one doesn't have any other connection. So this start from this, and its end is here. This is the start. and start and uh, this one there okay so now we need to make this adjustment yeah there's the bendy bones uh, what is this no okay there's some is the stretch to bone constraint probably so you gotta make this um, let's take all simultaneously delete uh, all right this looks like something very very bad <laughs> uh, maybe it's symmetrization first no, I think some a bone has been destroyed. This is clearly uh, 
All right, all right. So apparently a bone has become stretched to zero, something like that. Uh, we were able to save the world, <laughs> but now something. Oh, I know this. This is something wrong about the left and right after we disrupted that. So yeah, so let's focus on the symmetrization. So need to change the targets here. This is ready for symmetrization, but one side is uh, dying, and we know. I think it's just wave painting. Okay, this one on the bottom don't have. should be perhaps some bones that ah, I see all right we're slowly fixing that um, let's use medium point here So we pick this joint here and we're gonna make it become the joint where, uh, for example, all this would go. So just making sure they are sn all snapping there. All right. We're gonna. make it positive here we're gonna have this adapt here
Okay, not too much different role here. Snap. This can align here. Reset row. Um, now I have some problem with this row. I have to get it negative. This is not very good. Well, the row is diminishing. Yes. So okay, it's then it's normal. Yes, the roll is diminishing as we go, so this is why it needs to do that. Here we got to align this here. No, this here we snap here and here we can snap again on the same conditions now we can probably not reset yet because they're the one two three and four and now we can symmetrize probably one bone was left behind oh I know I know all the legs some bones in the legs were not symmetrized as we as I've made changes there to this yeah now yes uh, yes yes now it's symmetric that's it so um, right something wrong here seems that some crazy stretch is going to the master leg how this got its name changed no sense to me it's just a okay this lost I know what happened all right so we changed I have changed some unrun naming probably I took off some punctuation there's still a lot of crazy thing going on on here yeah like yeah that will be really annoying I think everything got okay at least is only for oh I see may I do one side that should do just need to check if everything is correct here I think just certain bones are affected. And then I symmetrize all that. This one.
all right seems that now everything got is fixed so hide let's get this and Uh, wrong batch rename certainly I took off the punctuation of many bones that were selected I think now it's clean let's get back to the our stuff here now this should be there's just wave painting to work with yeah uh, yeah, there will be the automation too, so the wave paint here is already present, but we see that Yeah, these are actually not very smart what I did here. This will make some bad uh, Events on that not not good not good. So uh, Yeah, it's very dangerous this bone. So let's Not let for now. Let's not parent them Maybe to the Fine, yeah, maybe to the spine. To the... But even that, I'm not sure. What about this one? Yeah, we can already try moving the spine. Let's see what happens. The, yeah. Well, it moves, it carries the. All the bones is not very dynamic. Not that this is any better um, than. Oh, this is still parented, by the way. It's clear parent. Uh, still not working. Uh, yeah, some bones are moving. Oh, now if we rotate, we have a different setup, right? Because of the crotch, of course. Okay, so this one has Yeah, should be careful about some rolls there. Uh, something that I need to investigate. Okay, here we we'll start to see. There's also the possibility of leaving unconnected parts uh, spline. So this is something I'm. I'm not yet. I have to investigate still. Okay, what I can do is this one could um, to differentiate itself, could be like that. Yeah. Is this preserved volume? I'm gonna check right now. Now this is uh, this is just mesh warping. <laughs> it's something related to Th 
the, how these interact all together so maybe I should be more careful about this thing yeah this is more mean to move like that not having this kind of interaction like we could make a copy rotation on local space and do some work with that and here yeah we start to see where this can become effective the circular thing is very like crude is not that interesting but if it gets the job done then that's it that's uh, just what we want so all right so let's try now Let's see more okay parenting what is this okay this parenting to nothing but actually yeah we could maybe parent this here I don't know no no this is too dangerous in principle unless I don't rotate so I'll have to investigate now I just need to work on wave painting here it's clear that we need to oh I see the the we need some sort of okay there are some strange things happening here uh, we see that the oh of course huh. except for this one all the others should be parented to the type itself there we go so now they now they have some rotation of course this parenting is too strong but maybe is the only thing we have I don't know um, we will try um, yeah, I've, don't do the parenting we have some issues right I'm trying to remember the proportional editing thing okay let's make some symmetrizing here just
there are some bone constraints affecting cross affecting the left ah here I hope this is only this well we'll see okay finally we fix that thing so basically we see that we are having some automation there just for from parenting uh, I think it's too strong and it deserves special attention but the cool thing is that from this we have already some kind of automation for the deforms right and this means that they are already following the it will be like a basic stance a basic state so that these bones are ready to although they are not all carrying waves uh, they don't have wave painting all or proper wave painting we can probably already uh, yeah from this state we can give them extra how do you say extra inputs like transformation bone constraint we see some leverage some whatever stuff would be required to have better deforms so in this condition here I'm just going to get my bones selections here I'm gonna wave paint with a good selection which we already have since the beginning so we're going to start perhaps this bone and let's give it some yeah that's so this is like the should be the simplest right so we just give some stuff here no more no less uh, i think this doesn't have to be much it can be cool you have some slight influence there but oh no not in the middle yeah not in the middle cannot reach the the middle so just here should be fine and the rest could be like blend blended waves same here just let's not reach some threshold there and that's fine We'll avoid this, this bone disputing waves in the in further regions, but this should be okay. Yeah, something like that should be fine. Uh, more waves here in the in this region, though. really about the side so that's fine something like here there we go that should be good then it's automatically let's see how it works all right we can shape this in adaptation not really nice at this point but uh, yeah this this bone is too important this is why it might be better to separate the splines at some point uh, it's even questionable if we need ah, certain, maybe if I get this all the way long and then just one here and one here yeah could work so could work better 
currently this like has this property here this one is too powerful uh, with these splines here so we see that it got too many waves uh, outside this is uh, hold on where this is incorrect I've lost brushes. Um, how to recover? I deleted them in from the outliner. Ah, ah yeah, so I was having trouble. How to recover Blender? so <laughs> uh, I think this should work so basically if I start again yeah let's save then start a new then I go on wave paint mode let's see yes so brush okay then I need to save this as a brushes <laughs> open this a pen from brushes palette no texture no uh, brush Can I get everything here? Yeah, a pen. Let's return. Let's hope that this has been. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so I think I deleted some stuff from the outliner. I think it was broken and then, yeah, those things here. Yeah, I delete those stuff. This. Why it appears as orphan data? I have no idea. So this, I was making cleaning up. So strange stuff. Let's, so let's invert this thing. And let's uh, shift K zero now. Invert. Now we can get some waves for this area. See where how I've painted this the pubis or at least yeah this region here and actually here we want to oh i see then because i paint i i protected this area in the middle i had some issues here so i think i'll need to make a new selection here maybe i'll have to require more subdivisions i need a lot of blurring out there 
but I definitely don't want to to paint the middle I know what should happen okay so this is the one which doesn't contain but then this is causing this because the waves here are too strong not for this of course but for this so what I need to do is oh yeah we see the the wrong waves there we just need to take a lot of waves from this area also be easier if we just pose differently Yeah, uh, should probably take too much waves there. Let's see. Yeah, we can probably shift K zero all that. So yes, there are some waves there, but they were very So we're gonna keep it more limited because we have already that other bone that is doing a lot for this part. Yeah, that part I'm... I think it's... Uh, it's confusing right so maybe I need to think another strategy but yeah certainly I think this is required and certainly this is required and that part maybe not I'm gonna think more uh, here probably we don't need all these waves here and then just Yeah, the naturally small waves there could be. It's always hard to tell, especially with these complex joints and and bendy bone splines. Let's do this, whatever. At least it will be simpler. Yeah, it's, it's simple to to think when this is all blurred except here need to be yeah so you see now this area in the middle I hope yeah it's still bad but there are more bones to consider and of course there's no there's having no uh, how do you say adjustment so with proper adjustment probably we can Yeah, we can probably solve that. Maybe the crotch needs more. And that the, there's a yeah, there's a lot of concurring waves here. Maybe we can do something. I, I yeah, I, I I know what's happening here. Uh, this uh, what is all that? Because we have the crotch, we probably don't need these waves here, so we're gonna sort of 
take this off yeah, of course we need some yeah maybe the belly at least that yeah this face loop then the rest could be like maybe a, until here yeah and for that part could be like this yeah all that then the rest we can have like just blend waves can have some influence but really not very important here we get subtract yeah even with all the the hype it's not like guaranteed oh you do whatever you want here it will work very well no there's still it's very conceptual right it's not so simple but in principle we got the basics working here we know we are getting some trouble so this crotch bone uh, should be better now to yeah this deforms because the leg starts here they are too strong maybe we need some subdivision yeah this mesh topology maybe is near the crotch is starting to get inadequate this I'm doing is not gonna help much I think yeah there's something really bad about the mesh topology here because I, I didn't want to have an extra subdivision along the leg <laughs> I guess it was that um, so this thing is not necessarily bad but it's making yeah then also in the gluteus of having some Okay, now that part is okay it's really near the crotch where we start to get complication this area so we probably would like to have some instead of just like this some loop doing something different um, we could have So these faces here won't be too bad and maybe this could instead of no but it is going like that all right then what about this
yeah it's this part here that I don't know I'm not sure anymore so that's why I made this squared but it's not like I need that subdivision there here the faces what is this face loop now just regular stuff and the other here now just basic stuff Yeah, it's not just like, oh, you get a good mesh topology here, solve everything. No, uh, but at this point, if I get something slightly better, it could make some difference here. Uh, okay, I have two trigons here. And it's certainly not actually even three trigons. So I've eradicated this face loop. Where is this going? Oh yes, it's spreading in the other direction to have a special help in the Botox region. Yeah, so it's something really about here where we can create more stuff. Yeah, uh, it wasn't wrong, this idea but we need to develop from this mesh here All right, so this goes here, okay where is this developing? okay, this is actually uh, this was already happening I think or maybe not um, why does that <laughs> Yeah, so probably that subdivision I did here it was interesting. So maybe we should keep that. It sort of reorganized this part. Here those faces are too large, right? But maybe this is where spacing here could help.
all right this is happening because uh, again the how the pushing of the deform rig from the rest position without any compensation right so it could be like we may need to this pivoting right it's the mesh even gets inside so of course you didn't even finish the wave painting properly so but repositioning those uh, joints would al actually already help I'm tempted to just yeah get them selected and in a new entire yeah we need only this so this will be like pelvis people's splines left all right let's continue this work here we need the selection could be that this thing is destroying me but the my insistence in this thing but I'm sure what I've seen enough oh maybe that's it why haven't I gotten more influence here there's no reason why in this case we can augment here Because the we took waves from the spine, the bottom spine, to give to the crotch, and the crotch didn't take them. So this will be actually very important now to help solving some of these problems. So yeah, we can have for the crotch some waves here. So this will equilibrate all this. But now we need to go back to the hide stuff. Uh, hide. On, yeah, the, this is like that. Too much waves in wrong ways actually this is just zero and shift K then invert you can just blur these things oh no this is not right it's just the height why, why it's not blocked yeah We've painted it wrongly by mistake so select again now we got the pelvis we can yeah can blur waves here that should be fine get shared waves with the with the spine also here that should be okay it shouldn't hurt to get this will help getting regularity 
and yeah especially the most important is this part so here some waves okay maybe too much but I don't know okay we see it's not that bad but we see there's too much still too much influence here we're gonna check what what would be doing this in this case of course the problem is the rest position of these things which uh, with all their rotation um, if we just had them start in a way that if they don't pivot this in how I all this way we already would be much better so the rest position I have is really causing a lot of problems in regards to to knowing what to do with this spline so of course this is the position and they have this arrangement here what we could do perhaps is manipulate them a bit more to the to the side okay this could stay here not really problem we see that the rolls are also a bit strange we can try to make those things more ah you see that ah there is a wrong target for this stuff let's target this instead alright so this is an old setup alright Uh, maybe this was one of the culprits of this disasters disaster uh, here let's continue yeah and I'm still not very satisfied with the with the way this thing is looping still feels like it's not helping achieving the proper profiles that I would I was visualizing that would be great to have here it's just too limiting but we haven't seen the full need still to investigate ah this thing we can probably bring them much more to the outside way right? why I'm doing this and why is my okay here here we want more rotations to the outside here doesn't need to be exactly there right we can have some not that this will solve anything uh, on its own but it's by reorganizing we can have uh... in this case it matters a lot 
because these profiles are exactly what they are meant to do they will change the profile of the mesh so they will they need to be uh, with exacting con contact with the mesh they will deform um, not exactly but uh, yeah enough accuracy to have proper uh, and this then the wave painting is also pretty impor important so if we take in this new uh, shaping that we are making for the maybe it will be better much better to have this thing deform properly so let's check now if the alignments are is the snapping are correct very easy to get those things when we have we are, when we are too busy get it okay I don't get it yeah <laughs> this is hard to get stacking sometimes Ah, there's this one also. Okay. So I have four joints stacking there. The other seems to be fine. If they are not exactly in the joint, is not a problem. It would be better if those things could be made with. Um, if the bone was like just had one joint that will be much much easier for bendy bone splines like control points usually they do they just have one right okay let's try this but we need the okay uh, this selection but not this one let's go back and pick okay it's torso it's this one then as we go here Okay, let's uh, try to, yeah, let's take off some waves there, it seems too much, exactly, and the problem is that, yeah, okay, we need something that allows us to get this, and this and this and this this should help now we're gonna say yeah assign so what it does we can have this and do this oh uh, uh we need to reset those splines too Okay, let's go back. Let's do this and this. Then
so as you see it's kind of difficult to get that part well because of the okay but hold on this this still don't have any waves so let's ah so huh. this one is critical for what we need so but of course it's a very dangerous area too so it's probably just gonna make a lot of problems or maybe not we'll see it has exactly the same problem as the other so it will cause the same problem there without Okay, at least this bone we can, yeah, make this, okay. So this is the automations that we need. there is this one which also ah I also have that there this shouldn't be Yeah, so basically we are suffering with this uh, with our choice of this cyclic loop. It's very hard to get the the real idea of the profile. What could be another solution? profile like that just all right I get a new idea maybe just crossing like this and like that and then this one too but what about the the horizontal ones
and uh, cage mesh is just too much work and it's uh, I don't have experience with that but What about this one? Yeah, this one is like nearly useless at this point. Yeah, it's just for this. Could help a little in that. But you see that problem of the stretching? This is not necessarily bad, but this would happen in the in that region if we Yeah, I think that for a profile this part is important even if it doesn't have too much of a... We could at least have some sort of, I don't know, uh, copy location perhaps. Copy location should be fine for... Okay, now let's do copy transforms. Yeah, this is good. So, or actually, yeah, that's it. this perhaps we try to move all this not that up Yeah, and then this is very dependent on the rig itself, so it, like it's more specifically to the rest position, to the character. So from this point we can say that 
it's uh, artistic uh, decisions. Uh, yeah, technical artists, but the basis is there. So now, if we accept this proposition, I still don't think like it's. I think that would be better than that. I've seen better. I just can't figure out in this first attempt, a second attempt actually. strange shape for this bone it looks like skewed uh, I never seen a bone like that Yeah, maybe it would be time to, to change this poll target, I don't know. Um, they are they never were very very good. <laughs> Although original and uh, what's happened to these bones? All targets, all uh, where they are here. Never seen that before. Oh, uh, there are some. French naming here. And also they don't need that color. They are so strange I'm tempted to just remake them. Yeah, let's do something like Okay, let's align this. Let's give this a control um Well, it's a pole um, that would be like knee, left, yeah. It's leg left, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, knee, pole target. Okay, so we symmetrize, then We want to parent it to to this same one. Mechanism there. Then we symmetrize. Then we can delete these ones. Then we, of course, we need the mechanism here. We need. Um, this and the pole target i think it's the same thing yes then we can symmetrize and i think yeah this thing still happens <laughs> and just give them some i don't know this color
Alright, so it could have a dumped track in relation to this, yes. didn't really At least this gives some basic idea. I don't know. Oh, the maybe it's custom shape. No, it there's no deformation here, so I have no idea what it is doing this. Oh, it's stretching because of the parenting. <laughs> That's it. Because these bones are stretching. It's. Uh, inheriting this their stretch okay but what about the skewing i have no idea transforms yeah it's all about the transforms it's offset parenting so here we just gonna symmetrize and that should be it but it didn't This is wrong parenting. Okay, what's happening to this parenting? You see it by I think I've clicked the Control Shift two to. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this is actually is so confusing. It's actually too dangerous. Let's let me uh, remove this shortcut. All right, so. I'm curious to the to the other way. All right, so this can work. Uh, of course, we can probably do something about that, or no, or not. Here, it might be useful to have some left and right. I don't know so. I don't like much that idea, but I don't see any. There are floating bones, maybe they can be like that. Yeah, this might be better. folks so uh, okay uh, the automation yeah uh, what am I doing <laughs> I need to check here uh, again um, what can we do with with this stuff right for the deform rig already it, how how automated it is already for the deforms as we can see this amount of deformation is uh, so just need a sort of botox leverage there there you go and sort of fix that <laughs> uh, incredibly right uh, of course there's not enough let's make some yeah need some adjustments maybe some stretching here some yeah uh, many perhaps many chance right but yeah here the bones get a bit messy we need to get maintain it smooth so 
Uh, this is why these splines that move along, uh, they, they, they're sequenced and it's not so smart, uh, it's interesting in some cases, but it's too easy to destroy, so you lose some precision and the mesh is not following exactly because the, there are too many blended waves, but look at that, right, of course. I'm cheating because this rest position is already very good, <laughs> but for but it's not enough, right? And so um, we can see that this for this uh, back bending already works for with the fuel automation for the side bending. Look at that. It's really impressive. We can then we can have this automation here, right? We can have some, yeah, I could have many things going on. I don't know as much as you want, right? Uh, but we want easy setup, right? We don't want to be creating because it's complicated uh, to create this, it's time consuming to create those automations uh, with transformation bond constraint, for example. Uh, so especially w with these things because they are not really aligned with with uh, yeah we need perhaps to create some some tweak bones that will carry them and then those tweak bones would be the ones parented to the and those tweak bones will have re more regular orientations yeah this will be the ideal so I'm used to make tweak bones so yeah a more another layer of bones but that will make this work much better then of course we're not finished let's see bending inside we're having a lot of issues with that as we see there's too much compression there it's uh, some of the most critical aspects here Then perhaps you need to push this, I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe try to No, not that, yeah. So a lot of Yeah, if if these splines were not that much connected, right? Oh well, it's not so bad there, right? Actually you see because we don't have enough cannot push the because of blended waves so but we can improve so it's not really terrible and then this probably could help in some way there I don't really see what's going on but Yeah, now I think it's the, I see there's some, there, there, okay, so, and here we need to, there are too much craziness going on here. Uh, yeah, so I'm really tempted to not allow this kind of looping splines, we want to make something more, more, more simple, right? and okay so this part of course it is expected because of this right it's 90 degrees rotation right inwards it, it would be technically for this position to be horrible the t pose but it's not actually hard it's not good but it's like if we with a few tweaks we render it uh quite no natural but we need to get yeah i saw at some point it was good um so so most of this is because of the way we parented this bone so um yeah 
on the rest position but for this thing is actually not a hard uh, we can make it better right it would be much easier if I think if we had better profile smarter than these ones actually but we can handle with these ones probably need just to push these things and yeah I don't really know what we need to do here to there are too many blended ways that's why uh, they are roll they are rot all around it's uh, there's the type deforms yeah we could take off some weights from the type in this region particularly uh, what I find really interesting is the crazy artifacts are not e even showing very much now let's see one of the hardest besides the Botox okay we see there's some thing bad things happening to the to the knees but this is uh, not uh, our issue right now so if we check here yeah so here we have problems in this in the pelvis region we can maybe adjust here with this so the pubis region right so here volume loss here there here we could probably push these things yeah here I don't wait this is the this is the bone from the top this is not even necessary right it's just a this actually oh this can push push this is interesting but it's not exactly what I want yeah then here yeah this is a chaotic, <laughs> chaotic. but there okay we see the artifact there it is this is the typical artifact caused by the let's try again I messed too much with the okay so in principle this should be horrible currently it's not so terrible but we need certainly to make adjustments so of course here um, we would like to start pushing this yeah this is con kind of confusing because this is what should go up right there we want to separate right so but as we start pushing we get some problems here this bone has too much blended waves along the type so you see the that artifact nearly disappeared and well there's still something there but it's something else right they are start appearing so it's curving um, so this is why we need perhaps a profile of the type right yeah so here we see how this push the crotch and it's not good it starts to get the yeah it starts to get but you see how long it how much it needs to go to get um, to start to <laughs> yeah this is a uh, uh, spaghetti craziness right but yeah yeah so there are many reasons why this is not good enough but you see uh, yeah the, the, the shapes are are exaggerated so certainly there are probably better ways to pull so uh, it's too uh, I, the system that I've created is just too too uh, chaotic it's not 
uh, it requires more uh, engagement to the real crucial areas and less and less use less uh, how do you say um, blended waves so we made some crossing nearly crossing yeah uh, wave paintings it, it kind of works sometimes but then uh, it's it's not very okay so you see we got a good well there's a lot of in, interpenetrations right let's try to move everything forwards we see we can can we push something now uh, not really we lack the type has too much waves right so we'd have to get to the type bone and adjust its wave painting probably so if we get to the type bone here we can probably now that we have these things there's there's no reason to the to the type for the type to have so much uh, waves along all the type even all the it could it can have certain yeah so let's try to make some adjustments here we see what there's even crossing cross mirrored thing but yeah something we can yeah so let's just fix the crossing first because it will be important later so it's not every day that I spot this thing happening It can be useful. I found finally something on the melt rig. I found a use for this thing. Okay, uh, taken off. Then let's go back to the. Yeah, just this. Now I think if we blur all that uh, we should try to take off the wave from the type maybe you get better results regarding the the I don't know this particular thing I, I haven't tried very much I'm just assuming that if we get weaker waves for it for the type now we get we should get in general better results overall not that little of course we need to but it's hard to use this tool in 3d space so it's uh, yeah so no it's not so simple right the skinny algorithm is doing his job there i'm just pushing the artifact <laughs> elsewhere but maybe this could be smart <laughs> I don't know uh, there's too much yeah this is blend wave from all the bendy bones probably it's a lot of interference here we see the horrid artifact so yeah before it was more inside the the type so this is not So no, uh, we cannot just do this like crazy. We can. We need to have some more regularity on the type. Let's get a. Ah, now I see that we should probably have this. And this, so yeah, we don't need many of the
yeah so need to decide that for threshold which is not easy for the complex joint would be somewhere like Yeah, I can say that's fine. Uh, usually, yeah, then we get some stronger waves here. And let's try to keep going up until it, it wasn't very regular right before so by taking off some waves here we are gonna give more work to the for the bendy bone splines which could be beneficial at this point since they are taking care of lots of this so it's not sure how the artifacts will how it will operate but um, let's see yeah so it got up but we are not seeing this bendy bone splines too so The artifacts sure got, got in that region actually so this because we push too much maybe yeah uh, my hope was that the bendy bone splines would try to prevent this but they can with the posing right but then we have man many issues why the pose is too chaotic uh, we need to simplify our okay and I of course forgot something we can also include in the pelvis this What's really annoying me is that I have the all these bones stacked together in so it's not that effective. I need to urgently to come up with a better distinction. Uh, my bone layers are yeah, there's too many stuff for eyes and and uh, mouth rig so I cannot just redistribute these things very well but I, I'm starting to get a new idea so yeah uh, I need to bring that solution later so here okay I wanted to get this then let's see it, if what I've said is correct or how correct how close to true it is so if i have the artifacts there okay we can sort of solve so this is like a corrective method right we can kind of yeah this one is very good right because on the profile of that region but we must be careful yeah and then because everything is connected all right so indeed i can we can see it is uh, it is plausible to get right some corrective uh, solution with that and despite all my 
experience which is not a lot with these uh, things and the experiments it's not like immediate right so I'm I'm most convinced that uh, with a good but look at this uh, I mean uh, it's not uh, yeah there are a lot of bad deforms but considering with corrective smooths and this oh yeah, yeah I forgot even we could ha use some helper system I think I this uh, could help but it's not it's not ready right now it's for the botox right it could help in this particular region I don't even know yeah we can use that to help So you see, this is uh, this is effective to to shape the right. We just need to a better plan, right? Or we go crazy, and I, I wouldn't do this at this point. Uh, I want to m keep it simple, but at some point, I I would like to have like uh, test this crazy. Uh, how to say the the curve net but before blender i think they call cage armature cage rig um but if you do a cage rig with bendy bones splines that deform with spline skinning that that could be a curve net right uh, uh there's crazy idea also we can use the bendy bones as mechanisms to orient other bones to be on it so I think this is what cloud rig does on its automation I need to investigate when you generate the rig it creates a lot of from a curve net thing when we see the deformed bones actually they are just sounds of bones on the face what where, where are the bendy bones well maybe the bendy bones they are just mappers right for the face they're not the true deformers and so we have like a simulation of spline skinning with uh, regular linear blend skinning or block alternative skinning right so uh, i had this idea but i didn't see for real it should be that next time so uh, that's it folks um the second attempt here was not so happy but now by improve by trying again this thing so before i didn't have i exclude that i just had this with just two splines it worked it was simpler than that than now it somewhat did the job it was more elegant and now we can make more shapes but it's crazy uh it's not very accurate it's chaotic but it also can get the job done it's very hard very hard so not adequate uh, the way i did this so i'm gonna try next time tomorrow yeah probably tomorrow i'm gonna try uh with uh different orientations here i'm gonna stop do, trying to do this loop stuff and try something more or i do some loop stuff but will be a more I'll disconnect the joint so we'll have more freedom. Yeah, so that should be much better, especially for the critical regions where we need to like. And I need to find a way to to develop the blended waves in a way that uh, I can get the best of the profile bendy bone splines on a certain region so this is another problem so having more bendy bone splines like this one is actually turns everything more complicated to solve because then you must be way more careful about the the waves and yeah so that's it folks uh thanks for watching uh Take care, happy blending. I I'm going to see. Yeah, today I think it's over. 
we are going to need tomorrow to continue this this work uh, that's it folks see you next time take care